All right, hey, hey, we can. We, we, we gotta make noise every five seconds, and I guess we can show this. Where's Juliet? I'm waiting on Julie. We're, uh, guys, I'm not gonna lie, we're actually living it up. This is, this is. Uh, we got James's truck here, the engine's out. We're, uh, I mean, all we're doing right now is budgeting time. That's what we're doing. It's pretty cool. That's gonna be having to take all the way apart. We gotta get all that. Yeah, it's nowhere near. Um, we shut the lights off here, okay? All the employees, we don't have any as of right now. Do we? Nope. We have a time clock. Oh, look, it's out of business. <laughs> well, why is it not on? Oh, because it's not even plugged in. Oh. It, so the water poured all over it for hours. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got it a new work. We got a new door. So we're back here. I'm getting ready to take the cover off. I know everybody's seen this these covers on this equipment. And it uh uh hang on, hang on, hang on. She said I can just hit pause. But we got covers on that. I like having them on there. And James's heads are coming up, but I'm going to save that for the day that we're waiting on the crankshaft because we have plenty of other things to do. But I wanted to show this on James's block is, I mean, the coolant ports are horrible. I was wire brushing on them for a long time. They're horrible, but the block is wonderful. Watch this. All right, we can check it or you can take my word for it. This is set for Mike's block 20 over. Look at that, his, his block. There, let me just scratch it around a little bit and see. Okay, anybody know what you're looking at? This, this gauge is set at 20, which means this block has like no wear on it. Look, it's, it's, I mean, that's unheard of. I mean, I'm all the way at the top. Now go down and show exactly where I'm at. Um, yeah, close. I'm all the way at the top. Wiggling it around, up and down, trying to find the lowest spot. I go back up and show it close. Yeah, look at it close. Okay, now the problem with that is, I mean, 10, 10 over pistons were, uh, well, what? 10 over pistons. I was told we could not uh, get 10s right now. But we'll see. I need we'll to check see. back. Once I From find my out, supplier. we're going to gonna put this in right now. So we've got obviously lots of room to cut. And we like to cut as little as possible. So we got lots of room. I mean, if we can't get them, do we look somewhere else for pistons? I don't know. I mean, you know, I kind of like we use line to line, and I like using them. You know, I don't do it myself. It's not. It's not a do-it-yourself type of thing. I want somebody that does ceramic coating all the dang time. And uh, look up line to line. Uh, that's who. That's who we use. They, yeah. So we got to find out where they're at. I mean, there's one in South Carolina. I think it's Brian in South Carolina. How do I remember that? I don't know how I remember that. But Brian in South Carolina, and there's uh, the main one is in Michigan. Sound like a free commercial for them? It ain't. Uh, but I'm gonna. We're gonna need some. Once I figure this out, we got about an hour and a half. <laughs> we turn the radio on. And there's an hour and a half of music videos, so I got an hour and a half to get it done. Then we'll go to finding pistons. What I'm getting at is we're making a schedule now that it's just me and Julie. And I think, I mean, we've added 7,500 steps to the process from when we first started. And How many steps? <laughs> I think it's more than it's more than 7,500 steps. That's what I was going to say. Okay, so, but I think we can do it a lot. I mean, it takes a special customer to appreciate. You know, it does. I mean, this is not. Look at this surfacer. This is not one. This is not a blow and go production, run of the mill. This is. Uh, we're gonna, we, we've, I mean, this is pretty nice equipment. I mean, I by no means am made of money. No way. This, this old girl, hmm. That's a brand new 6.7 right there. Could have been. Instead, I got one of them. <laughs> so, 
This one is close. I mean, it's, man. Ball on? No. No, because we want the pistons. But do we go ahead? This is a 6-4 block, man. This is a this is a rare animal. This is one that I might, you know, I would like to be dedicated enough to the job that I'll get on a freaking plane and I'll go get them somewhere. I'll go get them. And then we'll go and have them ceramic coated. We'll go do that. And then come here and put it together like we've always done. Okay. All right, here's the spot right now. Look at this. Okay, I have an absolute wonderful use for a coolant filter. You guys want to see this filter? Now, look how much flow there is going through that. Can you see it? We always want to run it, run it for a little bit so that everything gets mixed up because the oil and coolant, I don't want to mess, mess around, worry about it separating. I want it to be nice and mixed up. All right, watch this. Now, let me see here. Let me show you. Let me show you what we got back here. I've got that pump that pushes that much pressure out running to a basic coolant filter. I'm not even gonna mess, it. we're gonna have to clean this all up like fairly recently. But I've got it running through a coolant filter. Okay, the, now I wonder if you could say that that head is uh, some kind of different, more restrictive, whatever, I've got ball valves on it. I can kill the flow. Right now it's just pushing almost like a bypass, right? I have a bypass going down to it back up and that is out to there okay so i can kill it from the pump i can kill it and make all of it go through the coolant filter bam all right so i just close this ball valve right here watch the flow watch what it does okay close it okay so there we are forcing basic coolant through the coolant filter by the force of that pump. Now it's kinked right now too, it's actually kinked, but that is where it's blocked off at. See, it's blocked off and it's kinked. So all of it is being forced through the coolant filter. But look how clean that is coming out. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's clean. And you'll be able to tell how clean it really is when I open it up, because it is filtering it, so. But it's hard on that pump. But it's cleaning the heck out of it, so. You know, maybe I should put three or four filters on it. That's probably what I'm going to wind up doing. I want to put a, a manifold of a bunch of filters because that is awesome. This coolant's expensive. I mean, it's real expensive. I'd rather filter the heck out of it and keep it alive for as long as possible. So that's. I thought I would show the coolant filter, though. How much force is actually going through that when it's dedicated pushing through it right there. It's, it's dedicated trying to force through it, and that's all it gets. Now, let me open this valve. I'm going to open this valve right here and let's see. Because now it's going to push out all of it that's in the line because the line is full right now. Watch. Here we go. It's going to be like a jolt of clear. Ready? Uh, there. Bam. There's the darkness. That's cool. This thing could use a freaking paint job, huh? Probably. It gets greasy from freaking doing this. Here we go. Let's see. I mean, this is the first hit on it. Let's, uh,. I actually haven't ran this machine by myself without Tanner in how long? A while. You were training him. Old sucker might have forgot how to do this stuff, huh? Maybe. Doubt it. Maybe. This thing is kind of a... Uh, she's just an old dirty pig. <laughs> that would, Bruce would say that. She's just an old dirty pig. How much you think I'll clean out? Who wants to bet? He wants to gamble. See, we should do it live and have a gamble. All right, it'll cost you $100 to bet, and you win $100. <laughs> I could do that. All right. I can't believe how good it feels. I, I don't know that I want to cut this thing 20 just because we can't get pistons. Look how dirty that is. I mean, heck, might as well keep the dirt out of the owner. For it, because once I get it wet, it's game on. Once I once I splash coolant on this, it's game on for all eight cylinders. So it's kind of break time right now. You know, I'm just looking around, checking out the job, looking at it, reflecting. I guess you could say, not getting in a hurry. So, I mean, heck, let's go ahead. We'll cut out. Yeah. Four. Sure. Three. Let's see three. It's always kind of hairy after you're not running for a while. Turn it back on, you know, because I've had this thing like come loose 
because you forget to either click it or like this got knocked over cleaning it. This the speed on it. So you know we just put the glue on it. Let's freaking go. Oh, I didn't grab black light. She's mad. Throwing stuff away. Look at this. I knew that block is nice. Here, I can't do all this. Here. Okay. I mean, <laughs> sucker barely took any out of it. Oh, the flash is on. No, you can go anywhere there because it's screwed up. I mean, we'll check it later, but while we're going, it's precise. Yeah, it it's barely under. It only took a couple thousands out. That's, but that's about what it was, honestly. Here we are. We're going to run the next one. Look at that. Four thousands. Maybe five. That one, check it out, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's rough, it's rough though. We still got more to cut out rough and then we'll go smooth and then all that stuff. Yeah, we're, that's not done, nowhere done, but size, yeah, it's done. Now we can start playing with it, basically. There's another one down, cleaned up good, that's a 16. That's a four cut out. Touch that for a little bit. We still got, Six more to cut out to make it finish size to equal 10. So that's a really nice block, actually. We wear them suckers out. Work. It's still spinning that side. Poor thing. That'll, grow. That'll make it. That'll be fine. It's still looking like a tin block. Alright, this side's a little more difficult. I added a thousand to it, so I'm cutting out a thousand more, so I'm at fifteen and a half or five and a half. Here we go. And it's almost done. Dang it. Hope it ain't a 20 block. Okay, so we did it. We found Max 47 pistons, and we're getting them from honestly uh, J our place, we couldn't get them. They could only get 20s. We couldn't get we couldn't get 10s. So River City had 10s on the shelf, not coated. They said it'd take four weeks to get them coated. So we'll go to line to line. Maybe hopefully they'll get it done sooner than that. We ain't got a freaking clue. I have to call them and see. But that's pretty cool. We found them. Uh, they're gonna be. They're in Illinois, so they'll be here soon. And I mean, they said they got quite a few sets. So call them, get some pistons. Well, that's it. It's done. It's, uh, we found pistons. Block's ready to go back in the honer. Once the pistons show up here, we can weight match them and measure them. Then we'll put this. Uh, then we'll put this block in the honer for the last time. I'm gonna go there. We'll put this block in the honer for the last time. 